Hi, I'm Jeff McCalco. I'm here at the Digital Health and Fitness Live studio with Laura Mitchell, sponsored by United Healthcare. Laura, it's been a while. What have you been up to? Uh, not much. Thanks for having me. I have been uh, just sort of cruising around the digital health space, um, walking the show floor. This is actually my eighth CES. So wow. So it's uh, been so that's, fun that's to see. Eight years, that's 80 years in dog years, right? That, yeah, it feels like dog years, yeah. So 56, would that be? I'm not so, good at math. <laughs> so yeah, I've been walking around the floor and, and remembering the first year of, of CES, uh, the Silver Summit and the Digital Health Summit back then, um, to it being a tiny room all the way to you know the, the enormous space that's here is pretty incredible. So having the purview that you have, the years of experience, what are the trends that you're seeing happening in the marketplace now? Well, I think it's really interesting because last year was all about wearables, and there's still certainly a lot of wearables, but I have seen a lot of sleep health um, technologies out there, and it's just some incredible uh, technologies that start from you know, how you sleep to you know, mitigating potential chronic conditions or, or potential medical problems. Um, also, a lot of lighting technologies that help you, that you know, could help you fall asleep or can help you get up in the morning. Um, so there's a lot more of that. I'm seeing a lot more uh, pet technologies. Sure, yeah. Because you can monitor your pets. Yep. Um, and, and obviously, still wearables is a huge thing, internet of, of wearable things. So your background's in the aging technology industry. Are you seeing anything interesting happening there, or is there anything that you're aware of that's new and, and, and interesting? You know, I, I haven't seen, I haven't been all around the, the show floor yet, but I've seen it's a lot of- It's only day one. It's only day one. I've seen a lot of, uh, of monitoring technologies that are more vital centric, so it seems as though that there is a very fuzzy line between fitness and, and health technologies out there. So there are a lot of, um, new ones that probably could have been established for fitness purposes, but I'm seeing it and thinking this could really apply to the aging space as well. So do you think that's an easier sell to, to, to hit to someone around their, their fitness or, or staying healthy rather than the fact that you're aging? I think definitely um, that that it, it gets a little, you can have a little more sex appeal with uh, fitness than, than with uh, trying to, to, to appeal to the sex appeal of aging. Sure. Sure. That's a tough sell, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what's what's in store for you for 2017? What do you got going on? Well, you know, I'm still running my uh, my consulting firm at Digital Health. I, I like to help with the Digital Health Summit, obviously. Sure. Um, and I've got a lot of clients in the digital health space, everything from nurse call systems and senior housing to, you know, my company Grand Care, mm -hmm. um, to a lot of different uh, technologies that are really trying to take that gap from aging to fitness to more health related health technology connected health sure sure right sounds awesome sounds like you're busy happy 2017 thank you uh, this is jeff mccalka at the digital health and fitness tech live studio sponsored by united healthcare have a great show